In this video, we're going to complete example four. It says the table at right shows the flow capacities of edges from a network. What is the maximum flow from A to D? So what we're doing here is we're taking a table and we've got to convert it into a network diagram. And then we're going to use the maximum flow minimum cut theorem to find the maximum flow. So what we need to do here, you'll notice that from A to B is a flow capacity of 10. So A is my starting point. It's actually also our source. It's referred to as our source. And you'll notice that our maximum flow goes from A to D. So D is going to be our sink. Anyway, it says that from A to B is a flow capacity of 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label up here B and I'm going to draw it with an edge and an arrow with a weight of 10. Okay, notice that it goes from A to B. That's why I know the arrow points from A towards B. It then says we're going from A towards E. So let's come down here at the bottom. This point will be E and it's flowing from A to E. This is the direction of my arrow, and this one has a weight of 12. Now, what I might do each time is cross them off so I don't get confused. I know I've done the first two here. Okay. Next, it says from B to C has a weight of 12. So I'll put a C over here. From B to C arrow going in this direction has a weight of 12. So I'll cross that off. Next, from C to D has a weight of 15. Okay, remembering that we're flying from A to D. So D is actually our sink. It's our finishing point. So I think I'll bring D down here. From C to D there's my arrow, has a weight of 15. I better label my D. Okay, the next one, this is an interesting one, flows from C to E with a, with a weight of 7. So I'm going from C towards E, so this is the direction of my arrow, with a weight of 7. Next, I go from E to F with a weight of 13. So let's draw F here from E towards F with a weight of 13. I just noticed on my table it actually says flow capacity. So the capacity of each of these edges is the same as saying the weight. Anyway. We're going to do our last one now. From F to D has a flow capacity of 8. So from F to D, F to D has a flow capacity of 8. Okay, so that's our table finished with. We've got our diagram. And we need to make some cuts. So I'm just going to look at the edges at the top. I've got 10, 12, and 15. So I reckon the best cut is going to go through the 10. And looking at the edges at the bottom, we've got the 12, the 13, and the 8. The edge with the smallest weight here is the 8. So I reckon it's probably going to go through the 10 and then the 8. Okay. Now, the issue I'm facing with that is if I go through the 10 and then the 8, it means... I've also got to pass this edge of 7. And quite often people are tempted, they go, you know what, I, I don't want to pass through the 7 because that's going to increase my, my cut capacity. So rather than going to the 8, I, I think I should pass through the 12. They, they might do something like this and go, all right, well, that's, that's a cut capacity of 22 because 10 plus 12 is 22. And, and that sounds quite good. But let's try and join these red lines here and, and talk about it a little bit. OK, 
OK. Now remembering that D is our sink, and I should write that down, sink. This red line, this red cut, has a source side and a sink side. So I'm going to draw in green. And if we look at this edge of 10, it goes in this direction. It's going from the source side through the red line towards the sink side. Same deal happens with the edge of weight 8. That's the direction like so. It's going from the source side past the red line towards the sink side. But the edge of weight 7 is different. It travels in a different direction. It's traveling from the sink side through the red line towards the source side. So this edge is not counted. If I add up the weight of all the edges for the red cut, I only add up the 10 and the 8. I completely skip the 7. And 10 plus 8 is 18. So you can see that we've created a smaller cut capacity even though we're passing through the edge of weight 7. And when you have a look at this diagram and, and try some other cuts, you will find that you can't beat this cut capacity of 18. So the answer to example 4, the maximum flow from A to D, is 18. And we don't have any units here, so we don't have to write 18 litres per minute or per second or anything like that. We just write the number 18. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 4. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.